winter is coming, which means outside of this door lies a frozen wasteland. Okay, it's not so bad right now, but it only gets worse from here. So in order to avoid at all costs having to open that door, we're gonna try and tackle a ventilation problem in the shop. And the biggest culprit for creating fumes that'll make me die young is this guy. So, if you're wondering what happened to my finger, well, let's, let's go to the source. So would you like to tell the nice people what happened to my finger? He didn't listen. Ruthless. So the idea here is we're gonna have a vent hood that I can push a button and it'll lower down to position and turn on. And in order to do that, I already have the vent hood. Got it for real cheap seas from a friend of mine. I have a garage door opener that I found on the side of the road. So all we gotta build is this upper part that will anchor to the ceiling, a bracket to hold this guy, and some bearing mounts with some pulleys that I have 3D printed. So it'd be real easy to just wire up an up, a down, and an on switch, but we're fancy here. We like fancy stuff. So I'm going to have this entire thing controlled by an Arduino, so all I got to do is push a big red button, and it will do my bidding. Let's first start by seeing how we can get the vent cover itself working. Now you can see it's rotating very slowly, which is a good sign. That means it's just kind of gummed up in there. So we're going to take it all apart and clean it. So I've cleaned off the core. I've Put some more oil inside the bearings. You can see they spin a whole lot better now. Uh, let's put it back together. Ta -da! I may have put it on backwards. Well, I was hoping that I could illustrate how smoky this place gets when I use the machine, but well, it looks like I've overextended these consumables too much. This tap wrench sucks. This tap wrench sucks. Now this is a tap wrench. I ordered this thing offline with no indication of how big it was going to be. I kind of just had it set aside as a, a spectacle to laugh at. But man, this thing cuts like butter. Probably breaks taps like butter too. All right, so we got all our parts cut out. Now, let's start by making the most difficult part, which is gonna be this shaft. That way we know if we should just call the whole project a bust or not. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this gear off without totally messing everything up because these are tension pins. So I, I got another plan, which may not be a great plan, but to the lathe. Here's my bad idea to weld these things together concentrically. I've got it all chucked up in the lathe and centered up. Hopefully this works out good. I'm there. Let's take a second and talk about the electronics. So everything is controlled by an Arduino. For the outputs, there are three relays, motor up, motor down, and the fan. There are three inputs on this. That's the top limit switch, the bottom limit switch, and the input pin. When the input button is pressed and it's on the top limit, it will run motor down until it hits the bottom limit. Whenever it's on the bottom limit, it will have the fan on. When it's on the bottom limit and the button is pressed, it will run motor up until it hits the top limit. 
If you'd like to see the code for this, let me know. I'll post it in the doobly-doo. Fair warning though, I am not an expert at this. All right, so now that we know everything's working, we can start welding everything up and building the mounts for our bearings. This is literally all the parts. Now it's just like making a big old shish kebab. It goes pulley, bearing, pulley, bearing. we done it the last piece we got to build for this is gonna be a couple braces across the top so I can anchor it into the studs all right got an outlet up there lights are reinstalled now it's time to put that big heavy thing up there I think this might be a team effort suffering and a minor accident we got it installed up there now I'm gonna run the wires down to the button and then we can hang the vent hood itself all right got my duck hole installed I think I'm gonna hang the vent hood to hang it, I've just got some paracord, and there's a hole in the pulleys up there that this will go through and I can just tie a knot. Yeah, I'm gonna hang this thing with a good amount of slack just so that I can figure out exactly where I want it to hang, and then I can mark this rod and epoxy these pulleys in place. So the inertia of the whole system was causing it to drift down to inconsistent spots at the bottom. So what I've done, I've added a couple springs with paracord tied up to the ceiling on each side of it. And that seems like it solved the problem. So this is the finished product. Push the button, comes down, fairly consistent height now to overtop the plasma cutter. Push it again, and back up. <laughs> That is cool, man. So if you've made it this far in the video, I really appreciate you sticking around and maybe consider subscribing. But otherwise, thanks for watching. <laughs> Set.